the tap back door. <laughs> morning, 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 morning. It's cold, it's cold. <laughs> Left the engine run, so we'll keep the heater on. So let's have a look at our book. How are we today? Yeah. Fine and dandy? Bit tired, but yeah, fine and dandy. Splendid, <laughs> splendid. So let's have a look at what we got. Final plan, uh, exercise with clutch control. Finish off roundabouts, busier ones. We'll get them to do that on the way back. Maneuvers M2 and M3. Well, M2 we did, didn't we? Reverse and left. M3. Oh, that's the, oh, that's the last one. Oh, right, you get it one. <laughs> <laughs> Should we start that again? I'll just have a look at that thinking, how have we done all that? <laughs> that was less of some bad. <laughs> yes, it was. So the Gabam switched on. <laughs> yes, we'll start that again. So reverse to the right uh, and bear parking. M3 and M4. So you've done the done the book and done the quiz. So let's have a look at that. So what do you what do you think the key skills are here? Observation really, and you can obviously your clutch control going nice and slow. Yes. The, the three things that we normally look for. But you're quite right. Control, observation, and accuracy. So we want to we want to do it quite right. <laughs> close enough. Yeah. Um, so when we're looking for somewhere to do it, any idea what it is, what we're, what we're looking for, what the, um, what the rules are for that? Well, obviously, <coughs> reversing to right, you want a sharpish sort of junction corner mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. And then for bay packing, obviously, you need a car pack of some sort or something. Yep, <laughs> I have one in mind. <laughs> cool. And it's uh, what we're looking for is it's the same as when we come to park. You want to make sure that where you're going to do it is safe, legal, convenient. Um, so you wouldn't do it, say for example, at a crossroads, uh, or where it was a really busy road. Yeah. Any idea why you might do it reverse to the right? Um, well, <laughs> Can do, but it's probably safer and easier to do it in this car to reverse to the left, wouldn't it? But if you're in a van where you had no visibility oh, yeah. to the side. Yeah. Then that you might do it a reverse to the right. It's it's like my the, boyfriend did that. He drives a van at work, ah, and he reversed up to the loading bay and scratched out the van because he didn't, he couldn't see it, couldn't see out. Oops. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Your visibility is restricted, yeah. isn't it? Because you haven't got the windows to the side, so you would probably use the right hand reverse um, because it gives you slightly better visibility than doing it to the left would, yeah. because you can actually see. To that side, but what it does mean, of course, as you can see, is you're on the you're on the wrong side of the road to start with, yeah. and you're reversing in on the wrong side of the road, so you're probably more of a danger to other people. So, what do you think that might do to your to your observation, or what do you think you might need to do to take that into account? Take more observations. Yeah, keep more of a lookout. And if people come along, what we're going to do? Do you reckon? Well, it just depends. You mean pedestrians? Anybody? Oh, well, assess it as the come along sort of thing, whether yeah. it's the car or pedestrian. It's cool. Yep, and make the decision you think is the safest one at the time. Yeah. How about if you're doing that and somebody comes and they're wanting to come in here and there's a queue of traffic behind them? Any idea what you might do? Not that one, if they're coming up behind you here. Yeah. Um, well, because you're practically already on corner, right? So you probably still have to keep going and just reverse yeah. as far back as you can pull it in Yeah. Or the other option is perhaps if you've got that option, maybe go forward and start again. But yeah, yeah. you're quite right. You would just assess the situation and think, well, Okay, what can I do here? See how far around you already are, sort yep, of thing. It's good. I mean, if you're still there, then it, you just pull forward. But yep. Exactly right. <laughs> it's very good. Very good. Okay, so you've done the quiz. The answers are correct. Well, very well done. Um, so what we want to do today is to do the right-hand reverse yep. um, and a bear park. So we should be able to do a right reverse on one of these cars. Obviously, we need to drive around and, and, and come back to it because we're, we're facing the wrong way. Uh, we should be able to find places to do that here. Um, whilst we're doing it, what sort of level of help do you want from me? Do you want to just have a go at it, or do you want? Um, probably first time doing it, just like tell me sort of what I need to sort of be doing. Okay. Well, I mean, what we can do is before we before we have our first attempt, we'll find a corner to do it around, and then we'll maybe have a chat about, about what it. we think we're going to do, and then make the decision. Does that seem seem reasonable? Cool. Well, if you'd like to make yourself comfy, do all your usual checks. Now we're facing away from the sun here today, but it is very bright today. Well, I've dropped my chair up a little bit, so <laughs> hopefully we're high enough, we'll see. <laughs> I think I am, but... So in order for us to come around, what we'll probably do is, if we can, we'll work our way back around the back and use this corner to, to come to and, and reverse in, so uh, it'll give us a little bit of junction practice while we do that. So that like, seems like a plan. So we're going around... So we'll take this first road to the left, first left, and we'll go around the block 
come back in here. Okay. Whenever you're ready, off you go. I got the right shoes on today. Splendid. Oh, so, I've gone past that's okay. we'll do, we'll... <laughs> Oh dear. We'll go left at the end of the road. It's got off, so. Cool. Take clutch all the way down. And, uh, and whenever you're ready, off you go. So well spotted. You, you reacted correctly. You just ended up with a little bit of stall bats over here now, is it? No. Most important thing is that we react correctly. That we stopped. <laughs> yeah. Difficult junction, that one, because your view was very, very limited. Is there anything you could do different? Probably trundle in a little bit slower. Yeah, that would work. Is it just right to the bottom? If we take this next turning on the left, okay. now it doubles back on itself, this one, as you can see. So what do you think that'll do to your approach speed? So you knew you needed a bit more break. It all works. We'll go right at the end of this road, please. So as you're coming up to these tricky junctions now, you've got yourself in a position where you could go or stop, yeah. depending on what you see. Which obviously gives you the control that you're displaying. For once. <laughs> but it's, it's, you know, you're not, you, you, you're not born able to do these things. They have to be learnt. And, you know, you've managed to do that, which is great. So how did that feel? Uh, a bit more 
more controlled than it has done before. Hmm. It's well, it's because you you're on top of it now, and as you've quite rightly identified, you're con you're controlling the speed on approach, yeah. so you've got time to do what you need to do, which is great. And it's you know the, the more we do it, the better you're going to get at it because it's just practice. So, the turning on the right ahead of us yeah. is the one that we'll reverse into. So, let's find the right pitch. So, we're here, and we're yep. going to reverse into that turning there. So, well, you, drive can, across. you can see by the diagram. So, we're, we're going across to the other side of the road. So, what will you do before you do that, do you think? Observations. Yep. Um, once you're, like, remember again, we're not parking up, so leave yourself a little bit of leeway. What do you think you'll do then to get around the corner? Tell me how you think you'll do it. Uh, reverse, like, like a tr a trundle at that pace. Yeah, trundles are great. Work. <laughs> and where will you be looking? Uh, I know you have to check that mirror. Obviously, basically all around, but... Yeah, yeah. Uh, because you're in everybody's way, aren't yeah. you, when you're there. And then as we get close to the corner, how will you decide when to turn the steering, do you think? Um, I think it just depends on your angle, that curve. Quite right, you're just going to judge it. Um, where will you be looking at that point, do you think, to help you judge? Um, probably that mirror. That mirror will give you a view. Um, but is there things that you can't see in that mirror, do you think? Probably. Mm, so, with that in mind, where do you think you might? Probably over here. Probably. You kind of, bear in mind, we're looking to, to turn this way. So, me, if I was doing it, what, what I like to do, and you can try it and see if it works for you, I like to look over that side. Right. Also, if it's somewhere I've not done it before, a car I'm not familiar with, on a dry day, I'll wind the window down and put my head out. <laughs> and then I can see, clearly. It doesn't really matter if it's wet, it just has to cure it out and have a look. <laughs> Come back in like a drowned rat then. So, how much steering will you need? A lot of steering, but probably minimal like, speed. Okay, cool. And then how far back will you go? Uh, depends on parked cars and whatnot, but usually further, further back, so then you're not right on the edge of the junction for people. Brilliant. Turning. And then that gives you time to come back in. Yeah. So it's a turnaround exercise that, as we discussed earlier, you would probably do if you were in a van. Now, um, what would you like to do? Would you like to just have a go at that? Yeah. Or do you want me to talk you through it? Or do you want me to just tell you when things have gone wrong? Do you want to try it on your own and Probably see? talk me through the first bit, like how far to park up. Okay. And then I'll just do the corner and then tell me how far to go back. Right, that works. Um, what are the risks here? You think? All the other traffic that's trying to turn into you <laughs> yeah. and you're on the wrong side of the road. Well, that's right. That's and right. they're not pedestrians that try to walk behind you across the road. Yeah. So when we look at, at, at kind of managing that risk, um, how much responsibility do you want to take for that? Do you want to do all of that? Do you want me to help you with it? Or? Um, Should we just see what develops? You could probably look for pedestrians, but I should be all right with cars because they're a lot bigger. <laughs> 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 pedestrians can be small. Fair enough. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll pull past that, the, the, obviously past this car, past the junction, um, onto the other side of the road, far enough past so you've got time to maybe set your speed a yeah. couple of car lines. We'll see what we get when we get a clearer view when we get there. See what there Do is. you want to have a go? Okey How are you doing temperature wise? Warm enough? Cool enough? Yeah, yeah, I'm alright. Good. Love the observation. Pull-aways are getting pretty smooth, aren't they? Of course, it's because I'm doing it bad. Well, of course. <laughs> what was I thinking? So, I'm going to pull over onto the other okay. side. Yep. Probably about where lamp post is, maybe? Um, yeah. Yeah, that gives you a bit a of time. It's a couple of car lamps, isn't it? It is. Right, so I need to... It'd help if I put it in reverse. That's very true. And then, right from there. Well, yep, that's it. I think when you're going towards it, I would be inclined to look over this side uh, because right. you get a better view. You can see stuff. a bit more. But just keep glancing all around. Um, what I find helpful 
uh, and you might might do too, is if I'm wanting to have a look around, I just bring the car to a stop, yeah. have a look around, and then start moving again. And then it's you're not going to overshoot your mark or that kind of stuff. But it's up to you. Uh, but I find it quite useful just to pause occasion, have a look around, and I'm sure. Yeah. In your, in your mind. You've got time to look then, aren't you? You have. Because the last thing wherever we are is, is in a hurry with this. Yeah. Off you go when you're ready. Well done. Well spotted. So what, what can we do now, do you think? Go forward a little bit. Absolutely. That would help if put clutch all the way down. It might work then. That's fine. By a little bit I meant like a little bit. That's okay. <laughs> as long as it gives you the room to sort it out once you're going back again, that's all we're looking for. It is difficult. Try winding the window down, popping, popping your head out, see if that helps. Because of course you've got the glare across there, which is not, not helping at all, is it? Might help you a bit. Yeah, I think it will. <laughs> We're just just touching it there. What do you think might have caused that? Probably because I'm going on curve and it's not strong enough to push yourself up. But also, you're checking in the mirror, which is great, that can give you a bit of a guide. But when you're looking in the mirror, things are reversed. I've actually gone really? the other way with the steering hammer. Oh, 
You've gone that way. Which way do you need to go this day, do you think? The other way. Well, that's fine. Uh, it's all a learning experience. So what can you do from here? Go that way, this day. Okay. What might help you with that, do you think? Go forward and straighten up a bit. Go on then. <laughs> Your gut feeling's nearly always right, you know. Sometimes. It looks to me. Too close to okay, so if we shuffle forward a little bit and yeah. then come back, I'm gonna try looking over your, your other shoulder, see if that helps. That might, might make a difference. Something to try. See if it makes a difference once you're around the corner looking over this way. It might. Oh, yeah, I think it does. Okay. <laughs> Far enough so that people can get so that you're not in people's way, really. What do you reckon? Are we far enough out of the way? I think we probably are. Aren't we? Yeah, because I can tell People can come it. through and get around. If there is somebody coming this way, there's still room for them to stop and get past us. Okay. How'd that feel? as much as the left one. Well, you can see that you, the view is a, a bit more awkward. Um, it's, But we've tried one or two things, that, and some of them worked, some of them didn't. Yeah. Um, if you were going to do it again, what would you do different, do you think? Probably only look out right-hand side okay. until we've come out corner, and then look out that way to reverse properly. Okay. When we did it, as we were coming around there at first, what do you think? Let's look at the three component parts, control, observation, accuracy. How do we think we did on control? How was your control of the speed? It went a little bit fast. Um, but only my only when it came round here. Okay. What made it go a little bit fast, do you think? When did it speed up? I don't know. <laughs> Have a think about it. Replay it in your head as you were coming round. Because we, when we first start, we'll come back lovely, won't we? Nice speed. And then you start to come around the corner, everything was working okay there. Probably after I hit curb. Mm. Would you like me to tell you what I observed? <laughs> it was just before that, it was when the other car came. You let that really? hurry you up, didn't you? A bit. Probably. And then, because it was coming around lovely, I, I was sat there thinking, wow, this is going to be bang on this. And then of course you're like, which is natural, don't get me wrong. We just allowed that car to hurry us up. Where, what else could you have done there, do you think? Stop the weed. Yeah. Get out of my way. <laughs> and then, made, you know, see if they go around you, then you're great. But it's it's the easiest thing in the world just to think, well, I better hurry up. And it's the last thing you want to do because it's much more likely to go wrong. Yeah. Um, other than that, we were coming back lovely. So, how about observation? How do you think that was? Right. Could you have done it any better? Possibly. Look. Mm. A bit more. I mean, did you spot everything that was a hazard? I'm happy with it. <laughs> and accuracy. What do you reckon? Fine till we got round the corner. Okay. So <laughs> this is just, that, it's just, that, last just that little bit. bit, isn't it? Yeah. But again, as we've come back, you've you've worked out things to do. So what we'll do, um, if it's okay with you, we'll pop back round the block and maybe come back and have another go at this one. Yeah. Does that seem like a plan? And you got an idea what you're going to do different? Yeah. Cool. What sort of level of help would you want from me this time? Any? None? Some? A little bit, probably. Okay. If I'm stuck with what to do, what I'm okay. doing wrong. Well, that's, that's so if we said that I'll just let you crack on 
unless it looks to me like it's going wrong and I'll yeah. give you a hand. Works for me. Shall we go left at the end of this road? Yeah. We'll work our way back around and come back to this corner. Now just as it, just before you go, sorry, we could of course go forward and just trundle around there and have another go. Any idea why we wouldn't do that? Well, one, because we're on the wrong side of the road. Absolutely right. <laughs> and two, because you want to practice the lining up and... Yep. <laughs> Left at the end of the road, well done. Yeah, it would be creating quite a hazard if we went around there on the wrong side of the road, wouldn't we? Yeah. So we've got left at the end of the road. That's great. You're ready to go or stop there, aren't you? Brilliant. Left at the end of this road. Feel when you're negotiating junctions, though, do you feel more in control? Yeah, now I've got that clutch thing, I understand it a bit better. Excellent. And this time, if we take the second road to the left, please, this one's the first. What we'll do is we'll go around the loop and come back out of this one. Okay. Give us another like, Y junction. It's good practice. <laughs> so, just a, a point of interest, the last two junctions we haven't signalled as we've gone round. What because there's not been there? anybody behind me or okay. sort of thing. I could see that you'd checked. Yeah. Do you think a signal might have been useful if there was maybe somebody around the corner or would have been something that maybe we hadn't seen? What do you think? Uh, possibly. Road to the left, please. So, of course, there could be somebody just around the corner. So, I think a signal's yeah. probably when you're going from one road to another, I tend to signal. Yeah. And if you have missed something by accident, then you're, you're still safe. This is where I intended coming anyway, but it's not. my lack of geographical knowledge of the area, I <laughs> thought there was a cut through road to you. So we'll go right at the end of this road. Awkward shape here, isn't it? It's difficult to choose a position, doesn't it? Yeah, which, how are you going to approach it? So what are you taking into account when you're doing that, do you think? When you're thinking about your position? Well, it'd be helpful if there were road markings. They would, it would. And whether there's any other cars coming, where, the, where, the, where they're going. It's a bit of guesswork, isn't it, really? <laughs> a bit of guesswork. You've just got to try and imagine there's a white line there. Next one on the right, please. And what we'll do is, we'll just, if there's nobody about, we'll just move to our starting position for the reverse. Exit lamppost. 
Yep, there are thereabouts. I thought that worked for us last time, didn't it? Yep, go ahead. That's, that's the right signal to give. People quite often look at you funny when you come to do this because most people aren't taught how to do this. Yeah. But it's a even if you even if you never get it on your test, it's still a useful skill to learn. Because someday you may be driving a van. Yeah. Whenever you're ready, off you go. So we what we said was we're gonna have a bash. Yeah. And I'll shut up unless unless I feel you need me. Or you can shout up if you feel you need me. Yeah. So on the la just to clarify, on the last one you said that you were gonna look for cars, I would look for pedestrians. Do you still want that to be the case, or do you want to look for everything now? Uh, yeah, we'll still do it like that until I've got it right. <laughs> Fair enough. Do you think? If you're not sure, I'm quite happy just trundle forward and give them room. And then the pressure's off. Yeah. Just wait and then start again. Nearly, nearly, but we just, you know, have a, pop your head actually out of the window and have a look, and you'll get a, oh, yeah, so nearly, like a... just, just a tad, so what can you do about that? Just straighten up a little bit. True. Or even let it go around the corner a little bit, but give yourself the room when you're moving back to sort it out, and I'll leave it in your more than capable hands. How can we how can we help ourselves with that? Do you think? That's good. Well spotted. Because we've got a clear view here. Do you want to pop it forward and we'll have another bash? Yeah. Oh, you wouldn't 
drive round here from back there, but because we can clearly see that we're not causing any issues. Back to it? Yeah, back to our start point. So our controller speed's fab. Yeah. You're looking around well. The issue is, where do you think? What do you think you could do to improve that? I'm getting it round the curb. It's the last little part of the turn that's the problem. Yeah, it's the bit, you're, you're quite right, it's the bit just between being it's on the bend and straight up. I think it's a different up. shape to what I did last week. It is, you're quite so. right. <laughs> so, how might you get a better idea about when, because it's, we're probably, not straightening well, you know, for, we're, we're coming too far round kind of yeah. thing, aren't we? So, what might you do about that, do you think? Is it made out, wouldn't it? Could do. <laughs> do you want to try it, see if it works? Yeah. And again, because it is a little bit more awkward, if I, if I might make a suggestion, even slower. Yeah, okay. Careful about using the mirrors though. Remember we've got a restricted view if we do that. That's good, well done. Good, well done. He was going to wait, but I've waved him out the way. <laughs> Very nice of him. Yeah, that's only a stall, that's neither here nor there. Oh. Done. That's wreck your car. Careful with it, using the mirrors, remember. That's well done. Now we'll stop there. There we go, what we'll do is pull forward, back around the corner. In fact, well, let's, let's go that way That's and right. find a convenient place to pull over. And we'll have a chat about that. How'd that feel? A bit better than last one. Mm.
I'll give you a moment to relax. So how was that one? Okay. The bit that we you wanted to work on was the, the steering bit. So how did that work for you? It was better, still a little bit wide. Okay, well, a little, little bit. Curve, but little not bit. A lot. But, but were you still tucked in on your side of the road? Could people still yeah. get past you? Uh, the guy that came along, well spotted. Um, as you'll have seen, he was happy to wait, but I thought, yeah. just for, because we were still working <laughs> on it, I thought, let's get him out of the way so we're not telling to hurry. Um, even though we said that I was going to do quite a lot of the observation, did you still watch out for what was happening? Did you spot anything that was about? Okay, cool. Um, accuracy, you said you were... It was, you said you were a little wide, but I'm pleased that you used the phrase little, because it was only just a little, wasn't it? Yeah. We were still pretty much okay. Um, if we're going to do that again, anything you might do different? Probably still go slower, because mm. I still went a bit fast at points. It's, I think the key, you're right, the key thing is to, is to control the speed at the points where it's likely to go wrong. Yeah. Where do you think those are? When you're on bend and try to straighten up. <laughs> Just, you're, you're absolutely right, so slower there. In a straight line, it's, it's easy to control that, no bother at all. Um, what would you like to do with that? Do you want to move on to the next one and just come back and practice that? Yeah, because I think I know how to do it now, I know where to look and okay. stuff. Okay, so. fine, good. Um, it's a, it's a, a manoeuvre you'll, you'll very rarely use, but it's nice to have it in the bag if you ever need it. The only thing that irritated me about that corner was every time I got to that gate on corner, the sun was there and I couldn't see then. It. It's, it's, it is very bright and very low today, which does make life awkward. Um, so, but thinking about that, I mean, just to have a chat about that for a minute. If you're driving this time of year, what might you be able to do to, to help you with that? Yeah, possibly. Some black stickers for my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is some tinted sticky back plastic. Um, it is difficult and it does make life awkward. What can you do about that, do you think? In general driving? Just do everything slower and... Yeah, give yourself the time. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, okay, so bear parking. Um, a place we can, well, you don't know partly that well anyway, do you? So I know bits of it. Okay, well, I'm planning on using the car park. It used to be Focus, but it's now is a pound stretcher, um, which is down on the main road. So we can work our way back through Checkerfield uh, and go back that way and get so a bit it's of practice. Down, is it where Aldi is or something? I think it is. It is. Yeah. That's, it. That's exactly right. The car park opposite Aldi. We use that one because there's normally a lot of spaces free there. Yeah. Um, do you know your way there from here? Not really, no. okay, I don't well, know where I'll, we are in this That's bit. fine, <laughs> then, I'll, then I'll give you the directions. What we will get to do on the way there is to reinforce our junction practice. Yes. Um, we're also going to do kind of a bit of meeting situations where we'll have parked cars. Uh, so we're kind of reinforcing on everything we've already done. It'll give you the chance to practice that, that newfound lovely clutch control to junctions as well. I take it, I'll have to go above 20. You will. You will. <laughs> oh no! I don't think I could just stay 20 forever. <laughs> Absolutely. That might prove to be a bit of a problem on the motorway, mind. Just, just drive down. It's surprising, you know, how quickly. Um, well, it's always a standing joke among driving instructors really, that we spend loads of time trying to get learner drivers up to 30, and then you spend the rest of the time with them trying to get them back under it. <laughs> so the same thing with, with, with children, is that you teach them to talk and then spend the rest of their life trying to get them to be quiet. Shut up, yeah, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Off you go when you're ready, follow the road ahead. Oh, and I'll give you the directions as to, as to where we're heading. And let's just have a look at some general driving while we're on the way there. See how that's coming along. Well, if we get there. <laughs> After all that lovely cliff control too. <laughs> what do you think caused that? It's a bit too fast. A bit, yeah. Difficult to tell what they were going to do there at first, wasn't it? Yeah, because I kind of just sort of poked my nose out and stopped, and then didn't see a signal. Straight ahead. Yes, please. Tricky here because we're going on the other side of the road. 
You might get a clue by looking in the side of the cars and making a reflection of cars coming the other way. You might get a view through the fence. But once you're in the gap, nowhere for you to go. Oh, just a reflection in the sun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We go left at the end of this road, please. Again, the sun's coming to play again here, isn't it? It does make life quite awkward. You've done exactly the right thing by slowing down. We go left at the end of this road. So that's what does the next sign tell you? Minutework. This is where road works. Yep, whereabouts? To the left. There it is. Which is where we're going. Yeah. They're good for um, sledging on your own signs. <laughs> just as a. You maybe they're should, really, really slippery. You maybe shouldn't admit to that on camera. I don't mind. I want the one that nicked it so I can't get in trouble. <laughs> that's well done. What was your thinking process there, determining your speed that you came out, do you think? Well, if there was any little lights for it, because sometimes there are lights for roadworks, aren't there? there are. But if anybody were coming around. That's good, well done. Exactly right. Complicated situation. Fuck the road ahead. maybe just a tad too early. Okay, well, that's did look like he was going to come out there, didn't he? Yeah. Roundabout ahead. What we'll do is we'll take the road leading to the right. It's the third exit. should wait for us. Doesn't always mean that they will, of course. So we'll take the road to the right of Granite, please. That's the third exit. As you can see, because he was out and gone, didn't really affect us. That's the beauty of roundabouts. You can't take your chance, and as long as you've got the momentum, you can just carry on through. 
as long as you're not making anybody change direction or speed. Let's see if we can practice maybe leaving a little bit of speed on later and doing our slowing down a little more condensed, if that makes sense. Yeah. So that we're still kind of moving on legs. It's good practice too. Which gear do you think you're going to need here? That one. And then we'll turn right at the mini roundabout. As you can see, it's not really right about it's a spot of paint. Try and go around it. See, there was room for him to go past. So, in the first, and off you go when you're ready. And once we're past the park cars, we'll find a convenient place to pull over. Got a chance to do some junction work and some roundabout work. How'd that feel? All right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't sound convinced. <laughs> All right. I don't like it when you have to sort of when they're coming quite fast in the park cars. That's the only bit that I don't like. Not really about the junctions and the roundabouts and stuff. It's a... well, it's. I think the, the possibly the thing is that there's a lot of decisions to make, and when you see somebody coming towards you well, faster than the speed limit, obviously, yeah, well, they're doing and, them, yeah. and people coming up behind you really quick. It just adds the pressure, doesn't yeah. it? Um, what can you do to help you cope with that, do you think? What do you think the cure for that is? If there is such a thing? Um, I don't know, I'm just trying to test whether we're going fast enough to fit in gap on it or whatever. So what might help you with that, do you think? Do you think it's just one of those things where you might, it'll just get better the more you do it? <laughs> yeah, just to observe. Probably. But, yeah. Well, yeah, it's just, it's just getting used to it, isn't it? Mm. It's, it's like anything that's new. Um, you know, we've got the technical skill to do it, but you've then got to do it, if you like, under pressure. Yeah. Um, and it's just something you get used to. Um, it's like, you know, pulling out of junctions. We, we, you've got all the technique right, but then when you've got to do it to fit in with other traffic, then it adds a layer of complication. Um, but it's fine, it's just a case of pattern. I mean, but do you, do you feel that you've got all the skills necessary? Is there anything you want to work on? It's maybe something for you to have a think about between now yeah, and next time. Yeah, I think... I think I'm generally all right. It's mm. just, like I said, trying to assess whether they're going too fast to get sure. through gap or not. It's and that'll come with practice. Um, I mean, this is the whole idea behind the reflective log is to, is to give you. You can go away and then think, well, okay, how do I feel about everything that went on? What was I good at? Uh, what what would I want to get better at? Um, and it is sometimes things like that because that's not really. It's not a skill thing, is it? No. It's not a skill you need to learn. It's just a, a judgment thing, isn't it? Really. Um, but it, you know and. It, the answer might just be, well, let's just do it loads more. Yeah. Or you might come up with someone, I'd like to do some of this, or I'd like to practice particularly in this kind of situation so that I get used to it. Because only you really know how it feels inside. Yeah. Okay, when you're ready, off we go. Oh dear. Oh, it's big hill. Ah, oh, cheers, Bob. <laughs> 
I'm just an awful man. That's good, good call. There are a few too many to argue with, I think. Interesting place Let's to stop. stop. Right on the brow of the hill. So we do get a view underneath him. Yeah, to see if any cars come in. So who has yeah, priority here? It doesn't like climbing hills, this car. Won't come in. Okay. I know where I am now. I'm the perfect place down oh, there. there you go. Think about which gear you need to move off again. Yeah. It's good, well done. That's the only thing I ever forget, is that. Good, you sorted out. Excellent. And you made the adjustment by putting that little bit extra gas on the sector. Good stuff. So you know where you are now? Yeah. Splendid. You've probably already worked out that when we get to the end of the road, we're going to go left. Yeah, you can still have to keep directing me. Okay. about with these speed ups, are they? <laughs> they are trying to kill you. It's, they are a strange thing. They, they only slow down the sensible people anyway. Yeah. You can just feel the speed picking up a little bit there. What do you think's causing that? Hill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You bring your clutch up. Right the way at the top. You feel the engine slowing you down there. So you dip the clutch, the speed will pick up. We go left at the end of the road. So you can use that engine braking. Just maintain control. Oh god, this is gonna be awful. Once again. All you can do is wait for the right size gap. Think about which gear we need. Sometimes a gap takes a while to come, but we can get ready when a gap appears. How about here? What do you think? What's that? Alright. There we go. That's good, and again, you pick your speed up to match the traffic. Good stuff. Plenty of room for people to get around us. What, what we want to do is to select one of these bears and reverse into it. Right. Um, so, but before we do that, 
the uh, let's have a little think about the, the drive across here. How did that feel? How did a busier junction that time? That was scary. Under a bit of pressure. <laughs> that was scary. Always is the first time you do it. It makes your heart race a little bit more. Um, anything you might do to help you with that, do you think? When you feel that I'm sort of pressure? I'm used to it. Yeah. That, well, that's it. Well, you do. Yeah. It's it's like anything, isn't it? You know, it's like the first time you do something difficult at work in a real live situation under pressure. It's like, oh my god. But you look back on it now and you think, oh, was that weird? But really, it's a piece of cake, really. And it's the same with junctions. It's just a case of. I went to thirty. That was scary. Yeah. That was scary. That. <laughs> well, it's without me really giving you any prompt. You'd worked out that you're on a busier road and that you had to just get on with it. And you did. When you said you're gonna drive, I'm gonna drive it to Elder, I thought, oh god, it's got a fast road. I'm gonna have to go faster. No. <laughs> It is, honestly, you'll, 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 you'll see within a very short time frame, I'll be saying to you, uh, 30 please. <laughs> <laughs> so. You'll be like this, like, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all, not at all. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll select one of these bears and reverse back into it. Now obviously you can do it from the left or from, or you can reverse into one of these to the right. It's, it's, it, it doesn't really matter. But, oh. Is, oh, is that <laughs> sandwich van thing? Bap van. Bat Bat van. van, it's the Batman thing. Oh, not a word. But what's the easiest way to get into a bay and make it absolutely straight, do you think? If you're going to do that here today now, you want to pick one of these bays. I said in the book to reverse. Mm -hmm. But if, if I was asking you, forgetting about what it says in the book, if you were going to go to one of these shops and you wanted to be in a bay and be straight, how would you do it? It probably would be reversed because even though you're trying to swing in, driving in, you still got to pull up to straighten up. Right. See, I'd be dead lazy, me. I'd just drive in and I'd drive across there and park it on the other side of the base like it looked like I'd reversed it in. <laughs> so there's no point reversing if you don't have to. Because no. you're, you're, you're making more work for yourself. But obviously it's a, it's something that you might get assessed on. Uh, so we, we need to you know this skill. You need to learn in case you haven't got the opportunity to, to drive straight in. Exactly so. So if you, I'll let you choose whichever bay it is, but tell me what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. Well, you have to drive two car. Well, it says two car lengths, but it's technically yeah. two car widths yeah. because it's two spaces. Yep. Um, and then put it in reverse. Reverse because to do quite a sharp turn. Yeah, yeah. To get in rather than a big wide one. So what, what might you be able to do to help yourself with that, do you think? Speed. Mm -hmm. And then what will you do? Watch where I'm going. Yeah. How will you decide when to steer and stuff? How, how do you decide on the on the reverse and around the corners? See when you get to the corner. Okay. <laughs> how do you think you might do it here? Same. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is we can try that, can't we? And if it doesn't work, we can try something else. And where will you be looking? Everywhere. Yeah. Um, can you think of a good reason for why, p particularly as a, as, a, as a woman alone in a car, why you would reverse into a park bay rather than driving? Let's say, for example, you were in that car there, that blue one, and there was some nutter around who wanted to mug you or nick your handbag or, or, or whatever. He can come up to that car and pull the door open and get at you. Yeah, you have seen him. If you're reversed in, you, you can't. Coming. Yeah. And you can hit him with the door yeah. and then drive over him. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> a couple of times. <laughs> it's, so again, it's something that people don't think about sometimes. And I, you know, I, I look sometimes and I see, I see sometimes women parking in unlit car parks like that, you think you're, you're leaving yourself open there. Yeah. Uh, and I always think of that anyway, if somebody's going to try and mug me, I want to be able to have an escape route. Um, well, you have the chance to run him over. <laughs> yeah, somebody, if somebody comes to mug me, I'll happily smack him with the door and drive over him. I perhaps shouldn't say that on camera. <laughs> That's reasonable, reasonable force. Yeah. If that person's trying to injure you. Yeah. Um, well, they're the one that started the attack, aren't they? So? Well, right. I mean, there's other things you can, you can do as well, which is, you know, find somewhere quiet and practice reversing at high speed in a straight line because if you're in a city carjacking is becoming an issue now mm. so if somebody does that to you and you think you're in under threat reverse fast in a straight line get out of the way mm. but anyway that's a, that's a complete aside but <laughs> just something i thought i'd just mention at the time so if you want to choose one of these beers and then Go set your one. okay then set yourself up and come back in how much help do you need Any? Well, no? a little bit probably okay. is it better to be on it's better to be on this side in it and then reversing rather than being more to that side. Um, I think it's just a different technique, depending on where you're at. Do it whichever way you think feels right. Okay. If you're at, if there was a row of cars here though, you, you maybe couldn't get over there, could you? Because the nose is going to come out. Yeah. So, 
I tend to be in the middle. Okay. But try whichever you think think works. But the, the beauty of it is we're going to try something. If it works, great. If it doesn't, we'll try something else. Okay. But I'm happy to trust your judgment. I have no idea if we're actually in brilliant lines. Yeah. What, do, what do you reckon? Do you think you're close? I think I'm probably over that side. Okay. I, have a look at the bears at the other side. That might give you a little bit of a guide. So I pat right in the middle. <laughs> actually, no. no. But feel free to get out and have a look if you want. That might help you to judge a little better. Yeah, so I've gone over the line this side. Uh, Only a little bit, though. This side. If you have a look at where the line is this side, yeah, you're in and you're straight. You're just that way a little bit. So turn a bit early then. <laughs> yeah, okay. Should we try that? Yeah. But you're in and straight. Yeah. How was your control? Fine. It's just nice to turn early. <laughs> How was your observation? Yeah. Do you want another bash? Do you need help from me, or do you have you worked out what you need to do? Uh, probably just. When to turn. Okay. Well done. Still. Yep, you caught it. You see, you're getting a feel for that now. You knew something was wrong, so you adjusted, which is great. Bit far forward, but just a bit okay. further to reverse. Yeah. <laughs> so, I want to think about that. You said. So you said. To tell you when to turn. Well, give me an idea, sort of thing, of what you go by to. Sort okay. Of turn. Um, can I make a suggestion? Go on. What I think might help is why don't you make that decision this time, and if it goes wrong, okay. I'll tell you next time. Right. Does that seem right? Because I think you're going to get it right. Okay. <laughs> we shall see. Well, well you were so close to it being bang on that time. Okay. Well done. He's going to do what you would do. <laughs> it's just easier. <laughs> How does it feel this time? Over. What can you do about that? Straighten up. Come on then. That's what you'd do if I wasn't here, isn't it?
pressing it the wrong way. That's why. Still a bit off. I don't think you're as far off as you think you are, you know. Closer? Yeah, closer this time. So, Still a bit more, slightly. A little, but so we took a little shun forward. Yeah. Not wrong with that. If you, do you ever pay attention to when people have reverse parking like this? Have, have a look next time when you're when you're at a shop somewhere. Just just stop and watch. There's not very many people get it right first go. So that's better. So yeah. if we had another go, what would you do different? Turn earlier, do a bit more of a sharp turn. Go on then. Let's try that. The reason that I'm reluctant to give you a point to turn is because then that's that's what I would do it, and I, I, I prefer that you find out what works for you, yeah. and then you're going to be able to replicate that time after time after time because it was your idea. It's less than it was before, yeah. so we're closer again, aren't we? Yeah, hold on. We're getting closer each time. So, if we pop forward again, Back what do you think there. you might be able to do to help you this time? Because I think you're steering at the right point now. Probably go a little bit slower. Maybe. Yeah, that, that might help. Makes it easier just to yeah. twiddle it a bit. How about steering faster? Do you think that might help? Yeah. Let's try that, shall we? This far away. So you're just refining it yeah. after each attempt. Simple, isn't it? Wait for this lady to come past. Because I don't want to crack her when I go past. Oh, she's going in that car. The speed control's tremendous. But really work the steering hard. Anybody sneaks in behind us? If it might have done it, then. Maybe. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, there's always the gate you can look at the bears opposite. So, as you're coming into a place like this, you're looking for somewhere to park, you can get a look at that, and if the bears look like that, even like that, well, you can use that to line up, can't you? Mm. So, how was that? What would you like to do with that now? Or again, are you happy to maybe we'll do we'll come just come back to that and practice Probably it as well? Come back to it, cause okay. I don't find that one that difficult. It's just get used to in line, isn't it really? Well now then, that's a very interesting thing that you say there. You don't find that that difficult. The Ask. right reverse was harder than that, I thought. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. It's well, you know, everybody has different things, but why do you not find it difficult, do you think? Because there's no cars. <laughs> okay, well that's next that, to me. That's a big help. But what else do you think? Because you can you can control your speed, um, you're comfortable with your observations, and you're fairly, you f you know you've got the skills necessary. Um, the thing that we've removed, of course, is the pressure of other cars around. We will, of course, come back to this yeah. when there are cars around, um, so that you know it does put that little extra extra bit of pressure. So it's like real life situations, but it's 
It's because you've got the confidence in your abilities there. It's, it's only when we're moving into new territory, and everybody's the same, that you start to feel a bit, oh, yeah. oh, not happy with this. But it's just like anything else, we'll practice it gets right. Shall we measure all that against the targets? Yeah, there's some I got there. Oh, <laughs> stretching around. There you go. Oh, I hope if I was on the right page, wouldn't it? So that's good. Two manoeuvres in one go. Ask, you know plenty of people who drive. Yeah. Ask them what they think about bear parking. See if they think it's easy. <laughs> Most people don't. <laughs> so, did you prepare yourself to move, take effect on observations? Yeah. Okay, then. Did you do your blind spots and all that? Yeah. Fire away. Cool. Coordination of controls to maintain the speed? Yeah. Would you describe what you did as a slow walking pace or would you describe it as slower than that? Probably slower. Mm. So you can control the speed of the car at will. That's what makes manoeuvring easy. Pause occasionally? Yeah. Cool. Steering adjustments to keep a constant distance from the curb. Yeah, we did it at the end, didn't we? Yeah. Once we practiced a bit. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what it's about, isn't it? Respond correctly to other road users. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Reasonable distance into the new road. Yeah. Cool. So. More challenging, confident in your ability to safely complete a reverse right and more difficult on roads with varying gradients, widths and tighter corners. Obviously we're going to come back to that. Yeah. Um, ability to assess whether the location will be safe, legal and convenient? Yeah. Okay, cool. Because crossroads are a no-no. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Or if there's a lot of parked cars around. Yeah. That's good. You might want to start looking at these things now at the bottom of each, each of these target pages. Test requirements. Uh, what we've given you at the back of the Driving Skills Workbook is a guide to how you're going to be assessed, what right. the examiner's looking for. And now there's more checklist. Yeah. There's more to there's more to doing it than, than passing the test. It's about, you know, teaching your life skills. But you've got to get through that assessment. So it's handy sometimes just to have a look at it and think to yourself, do I feel confident in the ability to do that? And if you don't, that's something that goes in your reflective yeah. log. Mm, I'm not sure I'm meeting this requirement. Can we do more work on this? Um, and as we're running into tests, it'll be more and more uh, where I'll just say to you when we get in the car, what do you want to work on today? Um, sometimes that might be, I want to go at one of everything. Yeah. Other times it might be, can we do a bit of work on this? Can we go to that junction that I don't like? Can we get used to that? And that's what the reflective process is all about, really. It's for you to gather your thoughts and your feelings and think, this is, and, and if you like, you know, it's, it's, it means that you've taken ownership of it then. This is what I want to do. This mm. is what I want to work on. Because uh, that's what's important, really. How about the next lot? M4. Do we meet those? Suitable starting position? Yeah. Was it right for you? Cool. Reverse gear, prepare your car to move? Yeah. All round observations? Yeah. Cool. Slow walking pace? Or oh, slower? Yeah. Pause occasionally? Okay, yeah, cool. Sufficient steering? Yeah, eventually, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're marking it at the end, not the start. Correctly to the road users and pedestrians? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was the van, the, the car, the, the, the lady. lady. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Refasten your seatbelt if you removed it. Didn't remove yeah. it, so it's only sl slipped it down a little bit. You remember to put it back yeah. on, which is good. Um, more testing circumstances. Again, we'll come back to that and do some more of that as we go along. And again, look at the, 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 the stuff for test. How'd that feel? That was better than the right reverse. I didn't okay. like that one. The right reverse is tough. It is tough. And most driving instructors don't teach it. Because it's very unlikely you'll get it on test. In fact, you, well, you won't unless you went for a test in a van. Um, so the question's always asked, well, why do it? Just for sake of it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just for the last minute. <laughs> so I just thought I'd make life more difficult for myself. Um, but it is something that, that, that you know they can ask you to do if you, if you turn up with that kind of view. But it's a useful skill to have because someday you might need to do that. You know, you come to move house and you're in a van and you've never done it before. And uh, trying to reverse to the left, around the, it can be difficult. So. Um, have a think about what you'd like to do next time. Um, I mean, obviously, there's all sorts of options available. We can carry on with manoeuvres. Um, we did talk about doing those faster moving roundabouts um, up near where you live, um, which might also help us with extra traffic um, and having to get the speed up quicker and the extra pressurised situation. So that might be something you might want to think about. Or perhaps you can come up with some ideas of your own. Either way is acceptable. Uh, okay. The next logical step, I suppose, would be lesson number 10, which is traffic lights um, and pedestrian crossings. Uh, or more manoeuvres, or 
or tidying up the as you look at the back page on your on your, your master progress chart that can sometimes show you where there's little gaps oh, there you go. so sometimes that can highlight an area uh, where you might want to do you know some extra work uh, obviously the targets on those we mark those in the other work I think didn't we yeah but that might help you to decide well I'd like to do a bit more of that I'd like to tick some more of those targets off or sometimes even well, those targets are ticked off, so I'm, I'm, you know, I'm proficient in it. I've got all the technique there, but I don't feel confident. Yeah. So I want to do more of that until I feel confident. Because um, confidence is not something you can put a number on, is it? Or no. you can just say yes or no. It's what you need to think about in your reflective process is, okay, well, I don't feel confident about that. Why don't I? What would help me to feel confident? Uh, because only you really know. Yeah. Um, and then we'll do that. But as you can see, there's, there's quite a lot of this starting to get ticked off now, isn't it? Yeah. In fact, we've got another couple ticked off there, so... We're getting to it. It's all of our basic road skills are all... Because this is all about technique. Uh, and this bit's all then, I suppose, about confidence, really, and, and applying those techniques in busier situations. So... Yeah. Don't you know what time to leave City Centre? We're all right. Well, I'll come a time when you're ready for it. Instead. <laughs> well, you I know that better. <laughs> well, do you know, you, you, you say that when I, when I was teaching Bobby Joe. Uh, we had the choice Leeds or Wakefield. Neither of us was bothered really, so we went to Wakefield. I thought, oh, well, Wakefield's a bit quieter. No, no I but know. I know where I'm going, and another oh, one right. still on that because my boyfriend drives it, and I tell him where to go. Right, right. you can turn down there, but you can't go down there. You have to go down this bit, but you can't go down well, that bit. Well, if we go so. there, you'll, be, you'll have to be telling me where to go because I don't know terribly <laughs> well. Uh, but there'll come a point when it's just you won't think about it. You'll just do mm. it because it's you'll have confidence in your own abilities, and that's that's the key thing. Brilliant. Anything you want to ask me? No, I don't think so. Splendid, so we're okay on there. We organised for the, the sixth six. and two o'clock. Give you a chance because yeah. you're only day off for a while. Give you a chance of <laughs> a lie in, and we'll maybe get out for a bit longer. Yeah, um, have a good think about what it is you want to do. Do you, do you review the videos on, on YouTube? Do you have a do you have a look at them on, or not? Sometimes, it does it help? Depends. Does it uh, a little bit? I think it just depends if I was said to me, going, Look, I did this from grandma. Look. <laughs> It's, I mean, also, it, I mean, it, it's an easy thing in the world. You can, oh, I made a mistake there, but I always try and remember, you know, also look for what you did right. Because mm. you do a lot more right than you get, you do right. mistakes, don't you? Yeah. Again, well, we say it all the time, but it's quite often the case that a learner driver will drive for two hours beautifully, stall once, and the only th if you ask them how it went, the only thing they remember is the stall. Yeah. Because you do, you know, it's, it's, it's natural, but uh, no, it's good. Brilliant. I shall look forward to seeing you. We'll turn it all off while we get out. I'll look forward to seeing you on the sixth, and we'll get to, we'll get stuck in to whatever it is that you decide would be a good thing at that point. <laughs> Probably a few things if we're doing an extra long list. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, make a list, yeah. you know, and then we can take them off. It's not just about these targets here; it's about how you feel and what you think about things. So it might be, you know, it's all well and good. You've got all the boxes ticked, but if you're still not feeling right about something. We need to put that right. Progressive and eco-safe driving. We should do eco-safe when my boyfriend's car is an eco-car. There you go. You don't need to bother <laughs> about anything. It turns itself off. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs>